Yo guys, Jacob Owens here, um, and today basically I'm just going to do a tutorial based on a lot of questions I've been getting, um, like how do I import my LUTs, how do you import your LUTs, how do you color correct, do you use speed grade to color correct still, do you um, color correct in Adobe Premiere, and my color correction um, slash LUT process has changed a little bit because Adobe Premiere um, has come out with a lot of updates recently specifically geared towards color correction and being able to color correct heavily inside their program inside Adobe Premiere there's a lot of new you know just color tools that they've now given you where you can really dial in your look you can add LUTs easily and just kinda really go through that whole process so that's what I'm just gonna run over really quickly and just touch on and kinda go over my process now so when it comes to coloring uh, my video and I'm ready to do color, um, I have a sample clip here from the futuristic do it video that I'm just going to demonstrate on. But um, so yeah, when I'm ready to color, I come into here. So here's my editing timeline. Say there's my video here. I come over to this uh, color tab over here, and there's a couple ways um, you know I can do this. I can come over to the effects tab, and I can type in Lumetri, and I can add this Lumetri color effect right here and I can come into the the effects tab and I can color it over here and import you know input a LUT from over here change the temperature all that stuff or I just can come over here to the right side and this uh, this color tab over here right here and this opens up the Lumetri color window where you can dial in from your curves your color wheels secondary brightness, faded film, the intensity of the LUT, import a LUT. So here's where we're gonna input a LUT. So for this video, I actually used one of my LUTs from the JLP LUT bundle number two. Link is in the description below for that. But I use my what I like LUT. So I'm gonna pull that up real quick. I'm gonna browse. Um, this is the what I like LUT from my number two bundle. And I'm gonna take the cube file. And I'm gonna open that. And then it should apply it here. Bam. There we go. So you see the color there um, from the what I like LUT that I created. And now from here, I can go in and I can dial the intensity of the LUT right here. Um, I can take it down and it's going to dial back the intensity of it. Give it a sec. My computer's running a little slow. There you go. So the, the LUT is still applied right here, but I've now taken the intensity of it down. Um, and I can do that same thing on the other side of the spectrum and take it way up um, and kind of OD it. Um, there, you can see that there. So, you know, I'm going to bring it back to about where it was, maybe up at about 5% um, on the intensity. And then from here, you never just want to apply a LUT and then your color correction is done. That's not what a LUT of is for. A LUT is for your starting ground for color correction it should be a jumping off point so you know I'm gonna apply this LUT and then from there I dial in my look you know for example if I wanted it to have a little more faded look I might drag this fade up to about 25 um, you know say I wanted the shadows to be a little bluer um, then I can bring the the shadows down um, you know, maybe I want it more saturated. It's already a pretty saturated image, but I want to just say for the heck of it, I just want to boost the saturation up to over here. Come down to my curves. Maybe I want to crush the shadows a little more. So I kind of drag down here. Um, there we go. Oops, too much. Sorry, my computer's running a little slow. It's kind of playing catch up right now. Um, let's bring it back a little more. There we go. Color wheels here. You know, if I wanted to make the say the highlights a little more towards the yellow, shadows a little more towards the blues. I like blue shadows a lot in a lot of my color correction. Um, here's your secondaries, vignetting. Uh, you know, I'm not going to add a vignette, but here again is where you know your tint balance. Um, this is where your color correction comes into play. So yes, you want to apply your LUT, but then you really want to go in and dial the look of your video further. So, you know, up here in the basic correction tab. So we were in the creative tab to input the LUT. 
and kind of change those um, different things. Uh, but now we're going to go to basic correction and you know say I want the image a little more contrasted, boost the contrast, boost the highlights, boost the whites, um, take the shadows down. You know maybe I want it a little brighter, brighter so I'd boost the exposure slightly. And then boom, say I'm happy with that image and it's good to go. Um, and that's the this is the overall color. Let me play it really quick. Say that's the overall color I want for the video. What I would then usually, do, what I do for color correction, once I've established my overall look that I have for the video, I would then make an adjustment layer. Bring this back over here. Go back into the editing tab. So I'm going to make an adjustment layer. And again, pretend for the sake of this video that I have a whole video timeline edited down here. All my clips are chopped, edited, none of it's colored, but it's all chopped and edited. So I'm gonna take this adjustment layer, I'm gonna stretch it out over my timeline of clips. I'm gonna take that now color, I'm gonna copy and paste that Lumetri color that we just added here, you can see, that we just worked on, my What I Like LUT. And now I'm just gonna copy and paste that to this adjustment layer. So now every clip below this adjustment layer is going to be affected by that color. So now my entire video down here is now colored with that LUT, that color correction that I made. And so that's essentially how I color. And then from there, I would go in and dial the levels of individual clips. If this clip right here is a little too dark, I might brighten it. If this one's a little too bright, I might bring it down. If this one, you know, so, but this is how I get an overall color look for a video and how I color my videos. Essentially, um, I tried to run through that as quickly as possible and kind of show you my process and the process, the whole color process in Premiere and what you can really do. Um, obviously, you can get a little more detailed with it, but that's it, guys. So, thanks for watching. I also really hope you enjoyed the futuristic do it video. We had a lot of fun making it, and I hope you guys liked the color on it. I really liked it. If you liked it, it's my what I like LUT. Description below. I think that bundle comes with like 12 different LUTs. So um, yeah, check it out. And I uh, appreciate you guys for watching. And leave any comments and leave a, leave a thumbs up below if it helps you out. If you want to see more videos like this in the future, let me know. Alright guys, peace.